will share with us a reading of the poem entitled Memorial Day. Okay, Please rise for the arrival of our official party and remain standing for the ruffles and flourishes and honors to the nations. If hand over their heart and stand and remain standing after the wreath laying ceremony for the benediction. Thank you. Chaplain Antonio Ortiz, the United States National Anthem will be sung by Mr. Mike Hall. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam. The rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still. Let their bravery, commitment, love, and endurance be a testament to the legacy that we continue today through our service to our homeland. Let us never forget that, that the freedom that we enjoy today, our ability to pursue our happiness, the fallen soldiers as our heroes. Lastly, Father, thank you for our nation. And may freedom, respect, and love reign in the United States of America in our nations. Amen and amen. And I want to thank so many of our dear friends from other countries with whom we're serving, their military, their civilians, our Afghan partners and allies. I want to thank you all so much for being here this morning. Many of the nations of the coalition have similar days of remembrance. And all of them are poignant. All of them evoke strong emotions and are precious to our respective peoples. So too is Memorial Day to the American people, National Day of Remembrance in 1868. When to render a hand salute on the first note of taps. It is also a planned ceremony for the benediction. Thank you. For justice, human dignity, 
and freedom. We humbly ask this. Amen.